morning students here i am mrs tanya and we are going on with act 2 scene 5 of the merchant of venice okay till scene 4 we have studied where uh, launcelot goes to lorenzo then lorenzo bresanio preparing for the this supper and all and and uh, at the same time lorenzo was ready to elope with uh, jessica so now in act 2 scene 5 you will see that and that shylock's house we will see it is shylock's house where uh, shylock and launcelot are there they are in this scene and if you remember bassanio told launcelot to take the permission from shylock and also launcelot wished to invite shylock for bassanio's party so launcelot goes to shylock he tells him now shylock says well thou shall see thy i shall be thy judge the difference of old shylock and bassanio shylock told tells launcelot that very soon you will see the difference you will able to judge with your own eyes the difference between me and bassanio you will judge soon that you can find out the difference what jessica thou shall not gormentize now in between he was calling out to jessica are you there jessica do not overeat as you have done with me then again he is giving instruction to launcelot he said don't overeat as you used to do it here as thou has done with me means as you were overeating here just creating all the mesh mess don't do it there what jessica again he called out to jessica that hello jessica and sleep and snore now this advice he is giving to launcelot now you can see in this extract shylock is talking to launcelot face to face but in between he is calling out to his daughter jessica also he first he calls out to jessica he say are you there jessica then he pause and tells to launcelot that do not over it as you do it here again after that he calls out to jessica then again he comments launcelot that do not sleep and snore and wear out your clothes then again he says to jessica that jessica see here jessica i say now again he called out to jessica now here launcelot goes launcelot why jessica now launcelot in an allowed way in a very loud way he called out to jessica he said are you there jessica shylock who bids the call i do not bid the call shylock say who told you to call jessica i did not say that launcelot your worship was wont to tell me that i could do nothing without bidding launcelot said your honor used to complain that i never did anything without your orders you always used to tell me that sometime do the things without my orders also so your honor the way you were calling out to jessica i believe that i should also call out to her then jessica entered jessica call you what is your will now jessica came and said yes did you call me what you want shylock i am bid for to supper jessica there are my keys but where for should i go now shylock said i am invited to dinner jessica here take my keys he say my keys are here you take it but where for should i go but why should i go again the question arised in his mind that should he go i am not bid for love they flatter me he says i have not been invited because of the love it is only they have called me to flatter they are they just flatter me but yet i will go in hate to feed upon he said but still i will go i'll go i know they are, they did not call me out of love but in hate only i will go in hate only i will go to to feed upon to eat upon the prodigal christian jessica my girl now he said to eat the food of this wasteful christian means i am not interested in hate only i am going then he says to jessica jessica my daughter look to my house i am right loath to go he said take care of the house and i am reluctant to go there is some ill a brewing towards my rest he said there is some evil thing is going to be plotted to destroy the peace means i am thinking that something evil is going to plan out to destroy the peace of my mind for i did dream of money bags tonight he said because today night i dreamt about money bags means last night i dreamt about the money bags so he saw the dream that someone is stealing away his money bags but actually children can you find out that what was that really that dream connected to actually nothing bassanio and antonio they were going to do actually who is going to steal the money bags of shylock 
Jessica as Jessica is planning to elope with Lorenzo and she, if you remember the letter she said that I will elope with all the jewels the money the means the ducats and all of my father so she will take all the things and she will elope with Lorenzo so Shylock dreamt about the money bags and his mind is thinking that these people these Christians means Bassanio Antonio these are planning something against me and that is why they had called so Launcelot says I beseech you sir go my young master that expect your re-approach he said sir I request you please come my young master is waiting for you Shylock so do I his he said and I also expect him waiting for me he said yes me too expecting him to wait for me Launcelot and they have conspired together. I will not say you shall see a mask here. Now Launcelot said, yes, they have planned something together. And I do not say that you will see a mask here. But if you do, then it was not for nothing that my nose fell a bleeding on Black Monday last at six o'clock, he said. But if you do, then it was not without reason when my nose bled last Easter Monday at six o'clock in the morning. That year on Ash Wednesday was four year in the afternoon. Now this extract is a bit confusing. But here this line that is uh, this line nose fell a bleeding on Black Monday. This line from here till uh, here till here. Okay here Launcelot want to tell this nose fell a bleeding. He want to say that it is a superstition belief that either something good or bad is going to happen. So he also said that once my nose fell on bleeding on Black Monday last at 6 o'clock. Okay, on Monday at 6 o'clock in the morning falling out that year on Ash Wednesday was 4 year in the afternoon. And after 4 year this Ash Wednesday what happened? It came in the fell on Ash Wednesday. Easter fell on Ash Wednesday in the afternoon. Now here uh, Launcelot is just like what you can say just making Shylock to believe that your dream is was true with me also it this way happened my nose was bleeding and unexpected bleeding it was and it is considered to be an omen that something good or bad is going to happen and that time monday following easter the means ash wednesday is the first day of the lent if you remember easter the christians festival they make and before that you if you know 40 days fasting we keep so the first day of Lent is known as Ash Wednesday where the people go to the church and the priest tell them they put an ash the, in the form of a cross on the forehead and they say you have come from the soil and you will go to the soil. So that is the first day of the Lent. Okay that is Ash Wednesday. So he says he, he is saying here that it was without reason when my nose bled last Easter Sunday at 6 o'clock. Last Easter Sunday at 6 o'clock my nose bled in the morning. In that year, just 4 years ago, said so that year 4 years before, Easter fell on Ash Wednesday in the afternoon. 4 years before, Easter was on the Ash Wednesday in the afternoon. He is just confusing Shylock. This extract is not any kind of meaningful thing but this extract Launcelot is putting as he is a clown he's just make all kind of fun humorous thing amusement he do so he's just making Shylock to believe that whatever dream you have seen it is going to come true as it happened with me also okay so Shylock will be a little bit scared Shylock said what are these masquerades here you meet Jessica now Shylock said what are these masquerades and then he told Jessica do you hear me lock up my doors and when you hear the drum and the wild squealing of the very naked life five clamber not you up to the casement then and said to jessica lock up all the doors and when you hear the sound of drums and the shrill notes of the twisted pipe that is the flute do not climb up to see from the window don't climb up from the window to see what is happening not thrust your head into the public street not even stretch out your neck out to gaze over the public street to gaze on Christian fools with varnished faces because whom you will see you will see only Christians they are going in the masquerade way Fool, they will paint their face they will have a mask on their face they will painted face so don't look at them but stop my house's ears I mean my casement 
but what on the other hand close up all the openings of the house that not even the sound let not the sound of shallow foppery enter that not even the sound of those flutes of those drum that notes that shrill notes that should not enter my sober house my sober house by jacob staff i swear he said i swear by the prophet jacob i swear because they are jew they believe in jacob he said by the staff of the prophet jacob i swear i have no mind of feasting for tonight he said i swear i am not wishing to go out to feast tonight i don't want really to go out but i will go go you before me sir say i will come then he told launcelot but i have decided to go and he tells launcelot you go first and tell your master that i i will come launcelot i will go before sir mistress look out of at window for all this there will come a christian boy will be worth a jew's eyes now launcelot before going he just whispers in the ears of jessica and said that look out there look out from the window as there will come a christian boy will be worth a jew will be of great value to the jews eyes he says in spite of what he said he said look out Shylock said not to look out, and before going, Launcelot just whispered in the ear of Jessica and said, "Look out of the window. A Christian will pass by. He is worth looking at by a Jew. By a Jew, he want to look at the Jew. You should look out of the window." Saying this, Launcelot exit. Launcelot moves. Now Shylock asks Jessica, "What says that fool of Haggard's of of Pring?" Now she he says, "What this foolish descendant of Haggard tell you? Me is a servant boy. What he says." Jessica, his words were farewell, mistress. Nothing else. He says. She says nothing. He just said farewell, mistress. As he is now going, so he just bid farewell. Shylock, the patch is kind enough, but a huge feeder. Now Shylock said, the fool is kind enough. He is kind person, but he is a great eater. Snail slow in profit, and he sleeps by day. He says he is very slow at work, and he sleeps at day. More than the wild cat, drones hive not with me. And he said. lazy people cannot live with me he is like lazy person he cannot live with me therefore i part with him and part with him he said therefore i have parted with him means shylock wants to say i had left him i had sent him to go because lazy people cannot stay with me and part with him to one that would have him help to waste his borrowed purse well jessica doing and then he says he goes as per my wish to a man whom he will help to squander the money the later has borrowed he said he is going to the person who has only borrowed the money from me for his friend now shylock wants to prove here that i am so wealthy person and to the person my servant is going he is only a borrower he borrowed the money from me on account of his friend he has borrowed the money from me perhaps i will return immediately do as i bid you he said i am going anyway i am going to the party and i will return very fast and do as i have told you fast bind fast find he say anything that is locked as always is always safe so shut the doors anything that is locked that is safe is a proverb never stale in thrifty mind he said this is a very good proverb and it is never outdated for a careful man if a man if a person is careful this proverb is always the same that the thing which is locked properly it is always safe jessica shallow goes then jessica say farewell and if my fortune be not crossed I have a father. You a daughter lost. Now farewell, Shallow goes. So she says farewell. Unless I have bad luck now. Now Jessica is talking to herself. Say unless I have bad luck, I have lost my father and you your daughter. He said I have lost. She said I have lost my father, and you have lost your daughter. Because this night only Jessica is planning to elope with Lorenzo. As Lorenzo will come, and Jessica will take all the ducats, all the jewels, everything. of a father and she will dress up like a page boy like a servant boy and she will elope with lorenzo okay and when shylock will return back he will find out that jessica is not at home and not even jessica but all the money all the jewels everything is taken away from the house okay i hope it is clear to you